So tell, walk me through your uh, sports background. I know you you told us a little bit about how you got started playing basketball in high school, um, but I know you were telling me that you played some college basketball as well. So walk me through that. How was your experience playing college basketball? Well, when I accepted the Lord in the summer of uh, 1982, again, two pairs of pants, no vehicle, no hope, no shot at going to college. And I was in a flower bed at the Martinique Hotel on Veterans Parkway in Columbus, Georgia. And the same ver voice that I heard in that nightclub while I'm pulling weeds at this hotel, working this little minimum wage job, I heard that voice say, walk across the street. So I put my shirt on, it's August in Southwest Georgia, so it's a thousand degrees. And when I put my foot up on the curb, I knew exactly what I was supposed to do. It's like the Bible when uh, the spirit tells Philip uh, to, to do something. And when he sees the chariot, he knows exactly what to do. I walked into the cb &T and I walked up to a teller and uh, I probably smelled like a foot. And she said, can I help you, son? I said, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like money to go to college, please. And she flinched like she thought I was trying to rob her. She said, what? I said, I'd like to, I'd like to have some money to go to college. She said, take a seat. So about five minutes later, a uh, six foot five distinguished African-American gentleman walks out, says, hello, my name is Mr. Robert Anderson. What's your name, son? I said, Joe Phillips. He says, come into my office. He said, what can I do for you? I said, uh, Mr. Anderson, thanks for meeting with me. I, I want to go to college. He said, oh, wonderful. So you need a loan? I said, I think so. He says, uh, do you have an account here? I said, no, sir. He said, do you have a savings account here? I said, no, sir. He said, uh, do you have a checking account anywhere in Muscogee County, Georgia? I said, no, sir. He said, do you have any? He asked me any stocks and dividends. He asked me, he said, uh, do you have any collateral? And I said, I, re I don't really know what that even means. So probably don't right. have what you just asked me. He said, son, what do you have? I wish I'd have said I have Jesus, but I was, I've been a Christian for about 11 minutes. And so I said, uh, I have good grades and I have a desire to go to college. And he leans back in the chair and he says, uh, let me give you a little education, son, on how banking works. We do not give unsecure. And then he leans up, he puts his elbows on the table and he thumps the, the desk with his fingertips. And he said, uh, there's something about you I like, kid. Will $500 help you? I said, that's actually what I came in here to get, $500. So I left with a check for $500 and, uh, and that was uh, the next day was last day of late registration at Columbus State University, the local college there. And uh, then the day after that was the first day of classes. So I went from a flower bed to a college student just like that. And on my first day of class, somebody ran up to me in the, 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 the squad there and said, hey, Phillips, uh, Coach Green wants to see you in the gym. And so I sprinted to the gym. Because I had guys promise me, the football coach promised me to get me a scholarship, and nobody ever followed through on their promises. And uh, I, I ran in breathless. I said, Coach Green, I'm Joe Phillips. He said, sit down, son. I know who you are. I've been watching you play. You have a very nice shot. And uh, you have something that I think we need uh, on this team even more than your shot. You need, we need somebody with good grades to get our numbers up. You have excellent grades in honor society. And uh, well, I was wondering if you might want a, a basketball scholarship. Now, I can't pay you any stipends, but I can give you a full ride scholarship, pay for your books. I said, let me pray about it. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I will take uh, a scholarship. Yeah. <laughs> so then, so I went from a flower bed to three days later being a college athlete. Wow. And we played against some good players. And I was a bench warmer. I was a freshman. And I'll tell you how long ago this was. There was a three-point line. Michael Jordan was playing in college at the same time, and, and they were starting out in Division One. We didn't have a three-point line. All my shots were three-point line because I'm six foot two and three quarters, and I was about 165 pounds uh, drenched. So I wasn't trying to get banged up inside. I uh, man, I shot everything from three-point. We didn't have a three-point line. Um, and uh, see, so like a Duncan Robinson out shooting all threes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, and so we played against. Uh, I went to college at Southeastern University my sophomore year. God called me into the ministry. It became very apparent to me. If I had stayed at Columbus State University my sophomore year, I would have at least had a seat, sit, a 
a seat on the bench against Charles Barkley, the round mound of rebound at Auburn University. In fact, Auburn beat Columbus State University that night 54 to 50. And the only reason they beat us is, is uh, Barkley had a bad wheel and they were going to sit in for the lowly Columbus Cougars. And we came in and we were beating them. And, and the only reason they beat us is they said, Barkley, take your sweats off. You got to get in. And uh, so that was, that would have been really cool. But That's crazy. Against Gerald Wilkins, Dominique Wilkins' brother at the University of Tennessee, Chattanooga. I had a front row seat for that. Didn't get in the game. I did get in the game against UAB uh, back when UAB was really good. I mean, they were like six in the nation, I think. Oh, wow. Before. Who, who was on the team? I, I can't remember. I think a guy named Pruitt and uh, – and there was another guy. I, I played against Sam Mitchell. Sam Mitchell used to coach in the NBA. He played at Columbus High School. When I was in high school, I had a picture in the newspaper. It was not very flattering. It was me doing this as he was dunking on my face. 